Hey everybody, it's Longshot here with another video. This time it's a tutorial for that predator effect type of thing that I did for that one clip. Um, this is the Sony Vegas part. Um, before this, you will have to use Photoshop to create the um, the actual effects themselves, like the uh, the helmet type of looking thing. And uh, you first you need to figure out the shapes that you're gonna have for the corners, and then you're gonna kind of like constantly continue with the pattern until you see it fit then you just use a pen tool to uh, make the little lines across the screen all the way and uh, right now in Sony Vegas I am uh, I'm looking at a I, I put the the helmet part on and I'm looking at checking it out and now I'm going to insert the reticle which is the predator reticle uh, right there that is also made in Photoshop um, I did with a pen tool and the thing I did was I um I don't even know how to tell how to say that thing, but it's, um you know it's when you use the pen tool and you just like create a shape with that. Well, that's what I did. I created a shape and I created those shapes, and then it was uh, it was easy editing them so I could like easily move around, make them bigger, smaller without losing quality. Uh, I was I basically made them into vector shapes, and uh, here I'm lining it up with uh, as soon as I see the guy, I make sure that's where the reticle starts, and here I am lining it up. Uh, there I'm lining the entire video up. Then I open up the uh, the the frame binder, blah blah blah. You know how to click it. It's the little uh, little window thing. Anyway, I make it smaller. I move it. I zoom out so I can see the whole thing. So uh, I want to be able to see like the actual preview itself as I'm doing this. So that is the reason why I made it smaller in size so I could uh, really see what I'm doing on the uh, preview. And this is where I kind of set it up. I uh, try to center it onto the guy as much as possible. Uh, I go frame by frame, somewhat. Uh, you don't really need to go like frame by frame. You'll be doing that for for weeks if you tried that with like, well, not with a clip. I'd say with a clip, maybe like a day or two. It really depends how much time you have on your hand. And uh, I'm rotating it as well to give it uh, that real effect. Uh, what I did also was when I when you scoped in. I kind of made it a bit off, so as soon as you just go up in, like you see the you see the reticle, the target thing, you just kind of do a little loop, like a circular loop around, and then it goes back onto the target. Uh, I I use that personally as a as a better effect, and uh, yeah, pretty much you can uh, do whatever you want. Uh, obviously, Optic Predator had a had a more better one, I I would say, and uh, he also had like extra vectoral shapes at the top. Uh, which which is pretty cool, you know. You can actually play around with this a lot. You can add uh, various vectored uh, items in there, or just like more design elements into the entire thing. And uh, this is the part where, yep, I'm like making sure it looks good. And that's where I line it up onto the guy. I have music blasting in the background, which is kind of fun. I've been having it all day. Just throw my iPhone into the dock and just play shit. Fuck yeah. And this all while I was playing, while I was editing this video together, while I was actually making the Predator effect video itself, the little clip. And here I am editing it. And uh, <laughs> the funny thing is, when you drag it to make it bigger, that's when the reticle goes like smaller. Like whatever you made in Photoshop and you imported it in. And when you make uh, when you make these kinds of items, make sure they're transparent. And to have them transparent, you have to save it as a PNG without the background. Um, basically, what you do is you click the eye on the uh, white or black background, whatever color background you have, and uh, you click that, unclick that, so it's not shown. Then you should have like a checker type of thing, and you should have whatever like a little icon you have, and then you save as a PNG. Make sure you do that, and don't interlace or anything, just do it none, and you're good to go. And then once you open up Sony Vegas, you go to wherever you save that, and then you enter it into your video. You drag it into, uh, well, it automatically drags itself into a new uh, video layer. Here I am making some more adjustments. Um, I actually use the arrow keys on my keyboard to uh, perfectly line this up. There's a bit of a lag. I, I was dragging around and I noticed like there was a bit of a lag where the preview updated itself and the time I actually did it in the uh, in this tool menu bar thing. So I, I ended up using the keys because I could after each time it'll like 
render it real quick per pixel, which is really great. And that's where I'm gonna take the shot. And I think around here, I was like, since I take the shot like right there, I should end the effects and everything right there. So I drag it down, and bam, close it. Now I play through it. Someone see it? Okay. Yep. That's exactly what I wanted. And then I look at it on um. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm going retarded, crazy. I'm going frame by frame, I'm going through the play by play. See how when I start scoping in, it is like does like a little twirl, and then it goes back onto target, and boom, you got the kill. And then I'm looking at this, just making sure everything's working, it's good. And uh, somewhere through this, I figured, um, I figured, you know, hey. Might as well add some more effects to this from like within Sony Vegas itself because all the effects so far I just imported from Photoshop. And uh, in a moment, you'll see me duplicate this video track. So you pretty much just right click, not on that. No, what are you doing? You right click on the left hand side where it has the boxes, right there. You click duplicate this track so it makes it duplicate. Then you have two of them and the top layer is the one that you want to edit because you can then mess with the opacity and then you know figure it out and then you'll always have like the fallback on the bottom layer and here I go to color correction very simple thing uh, I drag it up I see what looks good I drag it around just to see you know what kind of colors I get how it'll affect the video and everything else and uh, did I leave it up there this side was too strong. I think I'll leave it up there, yeah. And I drag this up there too. I basically what I do is I make it pretty much all red because the predator's vision is all red. Well it depends unless he's scoping through his thermal vision or his night vision or etc. vision. Uh, then those change colors. But his typical view would be this like really kind of red like view. And in the uh, Optic Predators video it's also it has a red tint to it and it also has the uh, the audio like monitor her thing on the side that uh, Predator actually has. Uh, it's it's an interesting effect. I'm pretty sure he did that in, uh, or whoever edited it did it in the After Effects because there's no way you're gonna do that in let's say Photoshop or Sony Vegas. And uh, it, it's like a sound monitor that the Predator has, and whenever there's like a sound, it, it moves according to the sound waves, which is really interesting. Um, I so I could do that. I could do that, but I just decided not to because I don't want to exactly copy him to the point, to the dot, you know. I'm pretty sure uh, somebody somebody made, like, a video, or I'm not sure if it's the actual person who edited did, did a video. Like, if I get 100 likes, I'll make the video uh, or a tutorial to this video and how it was made and everything. This is just, like, a um, me pretty much mimicking those effects. Um... As with as vast much of a uh, graphical knowledge that I have uh, pretty basic stuff um, right now I do not have the uh, well I do have everything added together on the Photoshop side but I'm not sure if I should really upload that because it's pretty self-explanatory I mean if you look at it it's rather simple um, please do comment like and subscribe or you know send me a message or something you know telling me you know you should probably put the uh, Photoshop end of this up too because I really like to learn how to do this in Photoshop as well and uh, here I added an audio track which is uh, the Predator Snarl <laughs> adds for great effect of course because this is like the uh, Predator per effect tutorials and the entire video is like a Predator type of theme I'm pretty sure I played through it once too just to hear the snarl and go <laughs> but I have disabled the audio um, because I didn't actually have it set up correctly to record the audio but the video is in my channel and look at that if you want to actually see what the end result was